Hey, hello everyone. I hope everybody can see me. Um, today is daily vlog. We're going to be making meatloaf. Um, so right now I'm going to be just breaking up some breadcrumbs. Um, because I don't have any actual breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to break up little tiny pieces. And use that as my breadcrumbs. So you can use bread or anything. You just want to tear it up into fine little pieces for your meatloaf. And I already had mashed up um, potatoes. So I'm going to be having, this is um, my Valentine's dinner for my husband. He's at work. Um, so... Happy Valentine's Day, guys, um, from Justine. Um, I hope everybody is having a wonderful Valentine's Day. Let me know what you guys are planning on having um, for dinner. I'm just going to make meatloaf. Um, I already have the meatloaf mix that is the pork and the beef already together combined. And it already has some seasonings added to it. Right now we're just breaking up some breadcrumbs. And you just want to use any kind of breadcrumbs if you guys um, want to make this um, one day. I'm just sharing my recipe. Um, you can make meatloaf even if you don't have all your ingredients. Like your actual breadcrumbs. Like you can use your regular bread. Um, you can add pretty much whatever kind of seasonings you prefer and you like. I think I'm going to do at least probably two pieces of bread crumbs. Let me see if you guys can see what I'm doing. So, yeah. Let me know. Uh, my daughter is actually going out on a date to a Mexican restaurant. Uh, me and my husband, we were going to go out, but we went out over the weekend. So we figured it would be really busy probably today to go <clears throat> out and eat. Um, so we're just going to, I'm going to just cook a meal at home. He doesn't really know what we're having. So it's one of his favorite meals. He loves my homemade mashed potatoes. I've been getting into like a lot of like cooking. Um, I've been cooking probably since I was like seven, 16. I wanted to say 17. I don't know why, but um, I'd say 16 because that's when I had my first child. Um, who's now 23. Um. And then I have four girls, and I have another son, and they're all pretty much great, and they live with their fiancés and boyfriends, and they've been on several of my videos, um, so if you guys have been following me, I'm sure you guys have seen my kids, if not, they're on my videos, so you can go check them out, it would have something like me with my kids, or something as a title, but yeah, um, I've been cooking for a while, so. And then my parents taught me, and my grandparents, and my ex-in-laws, and, you know, I learned on my own by messing around with food. Okay, so I got about two things of breadcrumbs. And obviously, you guys, you definitely want to wash your hands. Okay, the kind of bread that I'm using for this is Sara Lee. Um, it's just your normal wheat bread. So, that's what I'm using right now. But you can use pretty much like any kind of bread, white bread. Okay, we have our meat here. This is the kind of meat that I got. This is my meatloaf mix. This is my beef. And pork and then beef on this side it already has some seasonings in it we're going to get our cutting board I need that 
Okay, we're going to get an onion. And we already chopped up our breadcrumbs, so you're going to need an onion for this. turn the potatoes down and obviously if you when you guys go to make this meal you're going to want to put your potatoes you're going to want to cut your potatoes up it's up to you if you want to dice them you don't have to i just peel them and then i stick them in a pot of water i drain them and i rinse them off after i peel them and then i put them in a pot of water and i let them boil for about 45 minutes and then you're going to, after they boil, you'll drain them, you'll butter, salt, pepper, and you'll mash them up with some milk. And that's pretty much it for mashed potatoes. Right now we're just peeling the onion. So you want to just take the peeling off of the outside of the onion. Just like that. Set our onion there. Scrape this into the garbage. Okay, and rinse that off. Then you're just going to take your onion and you're going to dice it. Obviously, there's really no special way to cut your onion. It's however you like to cut it. Whatever's easier for you. But just as long as you get it chopped up, it's what matters. And you can even use two onions if you really like a lot of onions. Me and my husband, we're not real big onion eaters, so I more or less use it for the flavor adding. So. I thought this would definitely make a good Valentine's Day meal. Something we both really like. And he ended up getting me um, a Valentine's Day card with a sweet message inside of it. Um, and we do this thing every year since we've been together, getting each other a stuffed animal. And I have each stuffed animal that we've gotten ever since we've been together. So it's just like a little special thing that we still do every year. We get each other a new animal to put to our collection. And so far we have seven animals apiece. This is our seventh um, Valentine's Day together. And we are actually now officially married. As of November 10th of 2023. Okay, so now you know that you have your onion all chopped just like that. I hope you guys can see that. I hope the camera's good. We're going to take our breadcrumbs and we're just going to dump our onion in there. And I'm actually no chef chef, but I consider myself a chef because I love my food. I think it's really delicious. And I've been cooking for a very long time, so... I definitely know what I'm doing, and I don't know what you would consider a chef. That's what I consider a chef. I have a meatloaf seasoning packet, and I'm also going to dump in there now. I want to add our seasonings right now. Okay. 
We're going to also do some gravy with our mashed potatoes, guys. Because, you know, we can't have mashed potatoes without gravy. We're going to add in a little salt. This is the salt I'm using. You can use any kind of salt that you like, sea salt or anything. You want to add maybe about a tablespoon. All right, not a whole lot. I'm going to add some pepper. Everything needs a little pepper. And I'm going to add a little garlic salt, just a sprinkle of this. I even like to hold my hand over it just so I don't go too much. And I'm going to add in a few red peppers. My thing is you can add in pretty much whatever you want. I'm actually thinking I might add in one more thing of breadcrumbs, but I don't know. I am going to add in my ketchup because I do not have eggs, so I am going to subsidize my egg. So like I didn't have breadcrumbs, I subsidized my breadcrumbs. For regular bread, you can use any kind of bread. If you're just joining, we're making meatloaf. This is um, Justine's meatloaf recipe. And I don't have an egg, guys. So we are going to use ketchup. Not a lot, just a squirt. So we're going to dump our meatloaf in there just like that. We're going to throw this in the garbage. Gonna go ahead and grab a couple napkins because you all know we're gonna need them. We're gonna take our ketchup. This is Heinz ketchup. And we're going to just add like a squirt like that. That should be good. Let me show you guys about that much. And now we're going to mix it all together. This is the really fun part. You get your hands all gooey. This is what kids love to do and they dream of. Playing in the food. And hang on, guys. Sorry about that. I felt like my shirt was about to fall down. So, okay. And you just want to get it all mixed up really good. So we get the seasonings all mashed in. You basically want to shape it in like a meatloaf. Now I gotta go get the pan. So one second, guys. I gotta wash my hands. Give me a minute. You guys think that's big enough or maybe a little bit bigger? Probably a little bit bigger. All right, guys, let me just rinse this out. Okay. Right, 
So now I'm just going to dry my pan out. Um, Our potatoes going as so you guys can see. All right, so now we're just going to set our meat in there. It should look like that. Did mess with it a little bit more, and you get it in there. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Okay. Let me wash my hands one more time. I hate the feeling of meat all over my hands. going to put our meatloaf in the oven. We got it on 375. So this is what we have right now. So we're going to put that in the oven. We're going to put that in there for about 35 minutes. And while that's cooking, um, we're going to make up our own kind of sauce. And we're going to be cooking the other stuff as well. Okay, so for the sauce that we're going to be making for our meatloaf, we're going to be using ketchup. Let me see if I have everything to make it with first, guys, because I'm not sure. Good sign. We need honey for this. Oh, yeah, guys. And then we have the spicy brown must French's mustard. Spicy brown French's mustard. And then we have our sweet baby Ray's um, barbecue sauce that we're going to be using as well. So this is a really good sauce to make with your meatloaf. So we're going to go ahead and prepare our meatloaf sauce because after about 35 minutes, you'll want to take it out of the oven. You'll want to put your sauce over it, um, over the top of it, and then it'll. you want to put it back in the oven for about another 15 to 20 minutes, um, and then it should be good to go. So, okay, this is the sauce that we're going to be doing. So first we're going to use, you want to use your tomato sauce first. This depends on how much glaze you really want to use. So I want to make kind of a good bit. So I would say that's about three and a half spoonfuls. And of course I can never get stuff open guys. My husband is the master <laughs> when it comes to opening stuff. I feel like it's rude that you guys can't see my face, but I mean, this is a cooking show and this is um, for people that want to know how to make recipes and this is my meatloaf recipe. You guys have been watching me for a long time. You know, I love to cook, so... And you guys love watching my cooking videos. Oh, I thought that had a cap. Okay. So now we're going to squeeze about, about two and a half decent sized teaspoons. 
of that. And of course, we're going to taste test it. I'm going to use about two spoons of, or probably a spoon and a half of the mustard. Not a whole lot. And then we're going to add our honey in there. Just like that. And I would say about two and a half of those. I'm going to use just a little more because I'm just eyeing this, you guys. But really, it's all about your taste. Um... And so that's what we're doing right here. You gotta taste everything, you know. That's one thing about being a cook is tasting everything. So now we're just going to stir that up. Because you never know if you may have to add a little more sweetener, a little more barbecue sauce. These are your ingredients, and it makes a delicious, you can even use, if you don't have honey, you can substitute it for brown sugar. I've used brown sugar before, and it's really good. That is good. I think I'm just going to use a drop more honey. Mix that up again. And you guys know honey's really good for you. It's 217. I would say I'll put it in about 212. All right, and press again. Perfect. All right. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a nice, um, but you can always make more if it's not. So the ingredients to the recipe for the glaze, that's what it looks like. It's ketchup. Um, mustard, this kind, if you want to use exactly the kind that I use, this is French spicy brown, but I also have used just regular yellow mustard, sweet baby rays, um, barbecue sauce and a thing of honey, or if you don't have honey, you can use brown sugar for your meatloaf. And I am not going to lie, you guys. I heard about the um, honey thing on another lady that I was watching with the sauce. Um, because, yes, I watch other videos as well. Other than people that's taught me. And, you know, just growing up since I was 16 and cooking and things like that on my own and experimenting um, different things on my foods. That's how you really become a good cook, you know. Is definitely by practicing your cooking um, experience. Your cooking skills. Um, I think anybody can cook if they really try. Because it's honestly about just wanting to learn how to cook. So we're just going to, this is the sauce that we made. Um, if, we're just, if you guys are just joining, welcome. We're going to put this in the refrigerator now. That is our sauce. If you guys missed it, um, please go back and watch it again. 
and I like to clean up as I go along, so don't mind me. We're, we got the potatoes on. We got the meatloaf in the oven. I just showed how we made that. I got the brown gravy for my mashed potatoes. And the name brand of the gravy that I'm using is by McCormick. So you can get that at any grocery store. It doesn't really matter. Just any, any grocery store you can get that from. All right, now I'm going to check the potatoes and I need to sweep the floor. So far we've had the meatloaf in guys, I would say about a good 10 minutes. So we're going to let those cook. We're going to let the meatloaf cook on 375 if you weren't watching, which is good because the potatoes have another 15 to 20 minutes. So, we'll go ahead and keep picking up the house. Oh, I'm waiting on that. So, like, you know, the more cleaning I do... And all that stuff, the more shit I have to clean. I don't know. Like, the more cleaning I do, it makes no sense. Absolutely no sense. But I swear, that's what it feels like. No matter how much cleaning I do, doesn't matter. I have that much more cleaning to do. For real. Um, I had a guy on there in one of my comments last time. He said, I don't care if you're, and he was, he was meaning really sweetness. He was really sweet in the comments, but he was like, yeah, I don't care what you're doing. It was funny. He said, I don't care if you're eating, sleeping, if you're taking a shit. He was like, I don't care. I want to watch you 24-7. So, if you're on here, welcome. But, yeah. Um, I do read um, your guys' comments and stuff like that. Don't think that I don't. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Valentine's Day. My husband had to work. Um, which, he works a lot. He works six days out of the week. But, um... You know, I don't mind. I get to stay home and cook and clean and do things like that and get his clothes and stuff like that washed. And I can do my videos and get the house done. And, you know, we got right now we have eight puppies. Oh, we had one passed away really sad the other day. It was a little rough. Sadly, she did pass, which a lot of times the runs don't make it, but they're ready to go to homes now, so we're, we've got homes for them, so we're going to be getting rid of our puppies, so I'm, I'm going to miss them, but at the same time, I'm like glad because I can't clean up after that many animals realistically. And it's just too much, you know, and it's hard to keep the broom clean whenever I got dogs pooping and peeing. You know, I can't really get them all trained because they're going to homes anyway, so. It's just, you know, I'm ready to get rid of them because it's been a lot of cleaning up this and that after them and I'm good. <laughs> All right, you guys, now I think while we're waiting on that, we're going to put the mashed potatoes in here when they're done. And the mashed potatoes are going to take a few more minutes. I'm going to get the pot for the gravy.
Okay, I got a pot for the gravy and a pot for some kind of vegetable to go with it. So we can't have mashed potatoes, meat, and some kind of vegetable. Probably green beans. No, my husband loves corn, so we're going to do corn. And I'll show you guys how he likes his corn. This is your whole kernel sweet corn by Farm Fresh Goodness. You can get this at the stores. So you're going to drain your corn like this over here. I'm going to drain it. Get all the juice out. If you like it with the juice in, you can leave the juice in. Not everybody does cook everything the same. So you're going to dump your corn in here. This is just the way that I like to cook um, and that my husband likes. And so, I'm just showing you guys, there's all kinds of different ways that I do cook corn sometimes. I'll do butter, garlic, corn. I like to do my corn all kinds of different ways. Okay. So we're going to use this country crop butter. Let me see if you guys can see. Okay. I'm going to use about that much butter. Maybe a little bit more. We do like our butter. All right. There was my phone. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Um, thank you for the hearts. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Thank you. Um, yeah, don't forget, guys, if you guys are loving my um, cooking videos, to subscribe and comment, guys. Let me know about your Valentine's Day and stuff. And don't share my videos guys check out my uh, latest videos as well um, i'm going to be doing my live videos guys a lot so i hope you're enjoying them i love to do um cooking videos so you'll be seeing a lot of cooking videos with me um a lot of exercise videos as well When my daughter was in, she noticed that I had lost some weight. So she was like, Mom, you're looking a lot skinnier. So you guys can tell. Whereas I'm just wearing black shorts and a red top. Okay, so we did some salt, pepper, and butter. And we're making this corn. So now we're going to use our white satin sugar. And I like to add a little sugar to my corn, make it sweet. I would say about two teaspoons. And then we're going to put it on the stove. And we're not going to cook that just yet. We're going to rinse this out. We're going to put our gravy in here when it's time. Okay, we're just going to put the lid halfway on that. I know you guys just love watching. Make sure that does not get out of control, you guys. Like, for real. Like, start saying, ah! Now I'm teasing. I will be right back. Keep an eye on that. Do not let that get out of control. I 
there, you guys. I can't. I don't think I can trust you. Has it gone out of control? Nope. I think we're still good. Let's poke it, guys. Can't find my lighter, you guys. So I'll be right back. Keep an eye on that for me. Thank you guys, my little helpers. See, I knew you guys were good for stuff. All right. So I don't think the potatoes are quite done yet, guys. This potatoes do take a while. So if you're thinking about making mashed potatoes, you do want to get them on. My oven works really, really fast. So, I will tell you guys that I have to cook it on low, like everything on low. This is such an old oven, but it's really neat. It actually has a light that I love on it. This is how old it is. If you guys hit this right here, hold it in for a second, let it go. The light will come on. Oh, maybe it's this one. There it is see that and then it helps just be able to see the stove and I always forget to turn that on but um I had a little bit of time before my husband got home so I didn't want to get anything on too soon so but yeah that's pretty much it I'm gonna take this out you guys and we're going to go ahead and put our dressing on it we're going to put our gravy there. Because it is looking really yummy. I'm going to wipe up this mess right here. Because God knows I'm a mess freak. Let me put this down. I mean, I know you guys love seeing my beautiful face as much as I love seeing your guys's, but this is our cooking video, so I want to do a little, show you a little bit of me and mostly she focus on the food. Okay, so this is the sauce that we made up, and I have it covered with our plastic. We're going to need a brush or something. We're going to need a spatula. Okay, now we're going to take our beautiful um, meatloaf that we made out. This is the meatloaf, guys. Let's see what it's looking like. I'm going to get two oven mitts because it's very dangerous. It's not done yet. This is just the part where we take it out. This is what it's looking like. Yummy. All right. It produces its own juices. This is what it looks like so far. So good. Now we're going to spread the sauce on it. We're going to just mix it up one more last time. Make sure it's going to mix. If you need to make more sauce than this, um, I made a good bit. This is a big meatloaf. You can make more sauce. Okay, so you're just going to take your spoon and you're going to just start rubbing it on. 
Try to get it all covered. So the juices will just absorb all in the meat. I don't know how you guys do your meat live, but this is how I like to do mine. I did a few little tricks um, because I had no egg and no um, no breadcrumbs. But as you can see, you don't need that if you know what you're doing. I used about two pieces of bread and about two big teaspoons of ketchup and my onion and my seasoning. And now obviously my sauce. And yes, I made plenty, so I do not really need to add any more sauce, I don't think. As you can tell, it's looking really yummy. Oh my goodness, you guys. And if you would like, you can always add a little cheese to the top of it. Um, we like it just like this. But you could, I've seen people add a little white cheddar cheese to the top of it and stuff like that. So that's what it looks like. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Hearts, 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 comments. Share this meatloaf recipe if you are loving my meatloaf recipe. And it looks delit, delish. Woo, and I just burnt myself. Do not do that, you guys. Make sure you use an oven mitt at all times. Because if I would have dropped that, that wouldn't have been good. And I missed a spot. I don't know how. That's okay. We'll fix it. Yummy. Yummy, yummy. Okay, and then you're going to put that in for about another 35 minutes. So I would say about three, something that will be done. And yeah, corn only takes a few minutes. Gravy only takes a few minutes. And all that stuff. So, yeah. That is my um, Valentine's Day dinner, guys. Um, let me show you really quick on how to mix up the gravy. Let me check the potatoes again. They're not going to be quite done for a little bit. Um, a little bit more water. But I'm glad everything's working out the way that it is. Not super fast, you guys, because if it was me out super fast then everything would be done too soon and I have like another 35 40 minutes before my husband gets home so yeah so I'm gonna wash the dishes up really quick drink the rest of this pop I like keeping up my dishes every time I cook like a must because I know that like my husband he's such a sweet guy and like that's why like I don't mind cooking for my husband I don't mind doing things for him because he does his best to make me happy in every way 
Um, sometimes we get hard up for, you know, money and things like that, just like everybody else. But we always manage to work things out, to deal with life as it comes. And, you know, if we're not able to buy something in that moment, maybe down, you know, down the road. We always manage somehow down the road to get it. It's just, you know. So, whenever you have a good partner, you know, you don't mind, in other words, you don't mind doing things, cooking, cleaning. You know, it's my job as a wife to do those things. I did those things before I was his wife. So, now that he's my husband, that doesn't mean that I give up on my cooking and my cleaning. And I just, you know, oh, I'm married now, so I can just turn into somebody different that he didn't, you know, that he didn't marry. Now, I'm the same woman. You know, if a man's out working in your home, then the woman should cook and clean. It's not, though, just a woman's job to do everything. The man can help once in a while. It's good for everybody, man, female, other, non-binary. It's, it's good for everyone in general to just learn the principles of life, like cooking, laundry and i don't mean just pick up your laundry guys and throw it in the the washing machine my husband's bad about that and i'll tell him over and over babe put the colors with the colors put the lights with the lights the whites with the whites the colors with the colors and the blacks with the blacks and some things doesn't even get dry because if you dry it it'll shrink it so, I don't know if you guys understand that or know that, but, like, if you buy a pair of blue jeans, for instance, and then you dry them, um, you know, they may not fit the same as you did before you dried them. Because that kind of material, certain kinds of materials and stuff, it shrinks, so... But, I mean, I'm not too picky about it, but, I mean, there are some things that are, like, my favorite, favorite outfit or my favorite, favorite clothes. You know, or it could be a bra that I really like because it fits really well and it's comfortable that I may not want it dry because the wire and it's going to get all bent out of shape. But, I mean, I give my husband effort for trying. Um, but, you know, it's all about commitment, teamwork, trust, and just being nice to one another. You know, if you're in a bad mood or something, try not to take it out on your partner. Or try to just, you know, go off into another room. Do something that you like to do. Call a friend. Call a sponsor. Do a video. Um, there's a lot of people even on videos that, you know, it doesn't matter if you're on like a, a video. If you're on a YouTube video. I mean, you, people are the same people no matter what meetings they're in or what kind of what kind of camera you're on, for instance. Like if you're on an AA camera, if you're on a YouTube camera, if you're on a Facebook camera, if you're on a TikTok camera, Instagram tic, uh, camera. Snapchat camera, I mean, WhatsApp, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm not going to go on forever, you know. But, you know, there's people that will talk to you no matter what, where you're from. So, you can always, um, I just try to, like, consider everybody's opinions and things like that. And I really love being on camera. It doesn't bother me. I enjoy it. Um, I like being helpful in my daily activities. I like sharing my cooking videos. I like to hope and pray that uh, my video is going to take off, even though it's been like three years. Hey, you know, why not make it another three years? No, for real, hopefully it will take off. Um, you know, you just can't give up. You got to keep on and yeah. 
So that's my message, you guys, is If you're ever feeling down, you can send me a message. I would be love to talk um, and share whatever you're needing any kind of help with or so, so forth. So we're out the gravy on. So I use, if you want to see, I use one of these. I would say this is a 12 ounce bottle here. And I've used literally almost the whole thing, maybe like one third of it I did not use. And then you're going to take one packet of gravy. You're going to dump it in the water. And then you're just going to, let me turn this back down. So then you're just going to stir it like this. And I believe gravy calls for like four minutes of stirring. Okay, and the potatoes are done finally. So we're going to go ahead and kick the potatoes over here. Can't wait to show you guys the dinner. We're going to take a dish drainer. You're going to dump your potatoes in there. And try not to burn yourself. Hot, hot, hot. Great. Yay, we did it. Okay, now we're going to use a bowl. I'm going to use a big bowl for this. And this may get very hot, so you always want to remember to use oven mitts, guys. We're going to take our potatoes and we're going to dump them in this big bowl here. This is also how I make my mashed potatoes. So, uh, that's in the way. We're going to get back to our gravy because you have to constantly stir gravy, guys. I want to also look at my meat life. Looking good. And we are making great time. All right, I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to set the gravy over here. If not, it's going to overflow on me. And it is still stirring. It is still bubbling, guys. I'm telling you what, this stove is, I mean, it gets so hot so fast. Going to mix up the corn. And all I did to the corn is I put butter, salt, and pepper, and some sugar. trick is is stir 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 patience um don't take your eye off the food kind of thing because if you do you know your oven can get too hot your food can get burnt many different reasons Make clump of gravy in there. Tell which one's on. Okay, 
All right. While that stuff's cooling, let me show you guys. That's the corn, and that's what the gravy's looking like so far. Let me stir it for you. Got the corn on, and there's the potatoes. I'm go back to the corn. Okay. All right, now we can turn the corn off. We just wanted it to get boiling. All right, good job. Okay. I'm throw this away, you guys. I'm going to add my butter now to my potatoes. I would use a good spoonful. Probably just use the rest of this butter, actually, you guys. Because it's a smaller container. I have another one, so it's not a big deal. Um, definitely a good bit of butter. All right. Um, let me go get my mixer. can't help it, you guys. I have to get this stuff picked up. Or I get so many dishes so fast, and then I just don't want to do them. I just find it better for me to, while everything else is cooking, just to work on some of the dishes so that way I don't have so many when I'm done eating. And I'm still waiting anyways. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, please thumbs up, like, share, and comment, guys. Spread my videos. We'll see if we can get this video to 1,000 likes. That would be awesome. You guys are really enjoying my cooking videos. Spread the love. Spread the love. It's Valentine's Day, guys. Woo! Let me know your plans for Valentine's Day. Are you going out to eat? My daughter and her boyfriend are going to um, a Mexican restaurant. All right. So now we got the dishes caught up. And going to use those. Going to plug this in, guys. Sorry if that cord's in the way. I'm going to add some black pepper to the potatoes. I'm going to sprinkle that on. Going to add our salt. I just eye it out, guys. Um, it's pretty much however much salt you guys really think, um, how much salt you like. I'm going to use whole milk. So I'm going to pour some milk. I'm going to pour about a half a cup. And then I'm going to take my blender. And I have it plugged in. 
make sure I get them set in there right. We're going to blend this up. You may or may not need to add more milk. And I need to add some more milk. So I try not to add too much. A little less is better than too much. You can always add more. That's the thing. so good in here you guys oh my goodness i mean i love going out to eat but you know i know that he is going to love this so much better than if we was to go out to eat because he loves my cooking and you know at the end of the day he's the one that works his ass off so I love making Valentine's Day is not all about the woman. It's about doing things for the man as well. Or your loved one, your fiance, your, your partner, um, your husband, your boyfriend. It doesn't matter. Your friend. It's just being kind, guys. It's just being kind. All right. That's what the world's all about. We need more kindness. We need to spread the love. And yeah. Let's see what this is looking like, guys. Since you guys helped me make it. Happy Valentine's Day. From me to you. If you follow this recipe, you will love this video. Let me show you my meal. Let me add. Just a little more pepper. I like a little pepper too. A lot of stuff. My husband likes it too, so we're in the same thing. All right. This is dinner. Ta-ta. Happy Valentine's Day. Mashed potatoes, homemade mashed potatoes, corn, gravy, and beautiful meat love. Now let's just put it to the test and let's cut it together. All right. Let's just see if it's done. OMG, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So it's done. Better than I could have ever imagined. Oh my God. So good, guys. So good. 
happy valentine's day thank you guys so much for watching my video if i hope you guys enjoyed it Mwah. hope you guys will give it a try give it a thumbs up like share and comment in the section below and um, until next time try this recipe you guys are gonna love it thank you so much for the heart Mwah. 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 until next time bye thanks for watching guys love you happy valentine's day Bye. <laughs>